Yo guys, what's up? It's your girl Z. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video has been very highly requested by a lot of you on Instagram. And this is going to be basically life with psoriasis. Anyway, so let's get this going. I'm going to make this nice, short, and simple. I've been having psoriasis since I was all my life. <sighs> Don't let me be that. I've had psoriasis and I didn't know because growing up as a Latina in a household of Latinos, I didn't know I had it all my life until I was 18 years old. So, <laughs> meanwhile, all my life, I was raised thinking that I couldn't, I didn't know how to shower. Anyway, I grew up covering my whole entire body all my life. I didn't want to wear swimsuits in the summer. I ended up becoming more of a tomboy so that I didn't have to wear like tops like this, like cute little tops and stuff like that. That is my little backstory on how, just holding my makeup on my hand. That is my little backstory on my psoriasis. So, uh, fast track to when I was in middle school. Um, I started to get breakouts all over my body. It was so bad. I could just, you know, like feel my body. Like if I had hot Cheetos, literally. I think Kim Kardashian said that on one of her episodes with her psoriasis. <laughs> but it literally feels like someone's rubbing hot Cheetos all over your skin. It's just irritating. It's itchy. Yeah, but that's what it basically feels like. It feels like inflamed. It's irritating. It's itching. It's really bad. And yeah, that's when I started getting it. I get it all over my scalp, my in my ears too, all over my body. And basically, um, finally when I was 18, I decided to, you know, take my mom and finally be like, Amma, we gotta, you know, get this straight. Cause I be scrubbing in the shower so hard. I'm over here thinking it's like mugre, like you say, dirt. And it's not that cause um, my showers are pretty intense in there and my skin be hurting more after the shower cause I'm in there just scrubbing, scrubbing. So I went to the fifth dermatologist finally recently, seven months ago, Navid, Dr. Navid Ezra, if you're, if you're watching this, God bless you. You made me realize that <laughs> Stress, diet, a diet, uh, avoiding stress or keeping it manageable, and um, my eating habits are very important. So a lot of my doctors always recommended to inject steroids or steroid creams and all that, and I want to avoid all that because steroids, I'm too young for that, you know? So my current doctor now, this is the fifth dermatologist that I saw, he recommended that I keep a balanced anti-inflammatory uh, food-based diet so like paleo and stuff like that you know so that means no more hot cheetos no more michelada no more alcohol but i was like you know what i'm cool because i gotta do what i gotta do to take care of myself so i ended up changing my diet i quit the michelada life i quit the hot cheeto life i quit the in and out life and basically i was just eating leaves <laughs> not just kidding basically i got this book and it's an anti-inflammatory food-based diet your girl did her research i went to the barnes and noble place and you know i was like you know what let me get myself some books let me educate myself i learned that gluten and uh stuff that has dairy and just different you know things like that that we love to eat that i love to eat like burritos tacos and all that it's not good for you and i was a little depressed my body went into shock but then I recovered, so I kept it going for like three to four months. And I literally got no breakouts. My skin has been recovering. So if you don't follow me on my socials, please do. I've been posting before and after pics. Uh, right now, I'm doing phototherapy twice a week. I'm getting the UVB ray lights, vitamin D that I need to get from the sun so that my skin pigmentation can come back. So I lose pigmentation, so I get like white spots. So your girl has psoriasis and a loss of pigmentation scarring after the fact. So I have two conditions, but I've been dealing with it. My boyfriend, thankfully, I have such a good support system. And this has been going on my whole life. So I'm finally feeling the most confident that I have ever felt literally in my whole life where like my skin is going back to normal. Like I'm getting my color, yo. And that's a big deal because I've never had smooth skin like ever, never. Anyway, so these are the products that I use. So obviously I exercise on a daily basis because go book yourself a yoga class, go get yourself a cool hip hop class. I don't know, find something that you find fun that is going to take you out of that stressful zone and it helps you, you know, 
working out. It helps reduce your stress levels. So try it. So your girl is using also Cetaphil. I was researching literally all my life for a crema or a cream, moisturizing cream that will keep my skin moisturized. So Cetaphil, they sell it uh, for a good price at Costco. It's really expensive. So I recommend if you have a Costco membership or if you don't go get one so you can start buying this and it, it's really really good dermatologist recommend it and i also use this one for my face it's cetaphil it's the same brand it's a facial moisturizer so, and i started using the shia moisturizer manuka honey but it took me again years to find um skin soap that i can use in the shower that'll help uh give me you know that moisture feeling moisturized <laughs> when i get out of the shower and this one it helps a lot so this is what i use okay and then for my face, I use this because my skin, I get, I also get psoriasis on my nose and like my eye areas and all that. This is the It's CC Illumination. It's a full coverage makeup CC cream. Um, it has SPF 50, so it protects you from the sun, which is really important, girls. Water. Drink a lot of water. Water is very healthy and important. This one, get yourself a cute little hydro flask or a thing that you can take with you on the daily and you good to go so anyway these are the products that i use they're very simple they're very easy they can't splurge on like fancy face creams or fancy creams and all that because they usually affect my skin so i have to be very simple and that's what's working for me okay guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to share some of the stuff that you guys do to help your psoriasis please make sure you drop a comment below and you help your girl out i love to try new things new things that are gonna help my skin give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe make sure you share that love and support to your girl and i just want to say thank you thank you muchas gracias to everyone out there who's been so supportive on my social media accounts about my psoriasis and and uh, I love building that community. So please make sure you leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Your support literally means the world to me. So anyway, guys, please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. Anyway, yo girl Z is out. Ciao. Besos. Sending all of you. Love, your girl Z is out.